Hello and welcome to Labor Lens. I am Sharon Ijasson. On this week's edition of the program, we'll be focusing on World Teachers Day. We also have new stories for you. We will be right back. Fifth October is a day set aside to celebrate teachers and the teaching profession. The theme for this year's commemoration is the teacher we need for the education we want, the global trend to reverse the teacher shortage. It draws attention to the shortage of teachers in Nigerian schools. According to UNESCO, the world needs over 69 million teachers to meet the targets of Sustainable Development Goal 4 by 2030. Teachers Registration Council of Nigeria further reveals that Nigeria would need up to 300,000 additional teachers or more to address the huge number of out-of-school children crisis it's currently grappling with. As Nigeria joins the world to commemorate this day, the Teachers Union wants the federal government to look into the plight of teachers and prefer a lasting solution. Teachers who are at the heart of education must be well-trained, professionally qualified, adequately recruited, empowered, motivated and supported to be able to meet. Ongoing international deliberation recommend changes that anchor on commitment, connection, communication and creativity in prevailing traditional education methodology. Vice President Kashim Shatima is here at the occasion representing the Nigerian president. He pledges the commitment of this administration to partnering with Nigerian teachers to ensure the nation's development. We are not just going to focus solely on technological advancements. The human aspect of education is just as critical as the infrastructure. Our teachers deserve to be treated with the respect and dignity they deserve. It is my promise that we will work tirelessly to build a society where the teachers' rewards begins to manifest here on earth. Work towards addressing any bottlenecks in the implementation of these schemes, which is intended to make to improve the life of a teacher. One after the other, the teachers took turns to display their skills in March past. The World Teachers Day also availed the government the opportunity to reward some teachers and schools for their outstanding performances towards the development of the country. The last class we talked about physical fitness. Teachers are the custodians of knowledge and the architects of the future. Now, this important role is threatened with many challenges. In marking the Teacher's Day, Lagos State Deputy Governor Obafemi Hamzat is not only here to felicitate with the teachers, but join in the discussion of global teachers' shortage that threatens to undermine the foundation of quality education. There is always a capacity analysis to say how many teachers do we need. And uh, in Lagos State, we have automatic replacement of our teachers either voluntary retirement or statutory retirement. It's not just government, it's also you and me. How many of us have come back to appreciate our teachers? After all, they all taught all of us. Some of the major problems are that teachers are overworked, undervalued and underpaid, and more are forced to leave the profession the world needs. Some of the requests include prompt payment of salary, leave allowances, annual merit awards with brand new cars, recruitment of more teachers to replace retirees, among others. We therefore appeal to our teacher-friendly governor and his deputy to follow suit by giving his pronouncement on this very German request. 65 years elongation of service for Lagos State teachers. Let them know the importance of teaching and um, the pay the pay. If there is an increase in the payments, they will stay. According to the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, the world needs 69 million more teachers by 2030 to achieve universal basic education. Yet current trends see this deficit increasing with many teachers leaving the profession. The students line both sides of the road leading to the school. 
to appreciate past and present teachers as they arrive. The Old Girls Association organized a program to honor the men and women who have worked as teachers in the school in the last 48 years. It was an emotional moment as former students graduated as young girls returned as established career women to meet those teachers who helped shape their lives. It's an opportunity we are creating, if, uh, an opportunity for our old girls to come back and tell those former teachers thank you. The association presented awards for outstanding performance to some seven teachers. They are expected to keep putting in their best in building future leaders, even though teaching ranks amongst the lowest paid jobs in Nigeria. Teachers are not properly paid. Um, the teaching education sector is not properly, you know, being celebrated. So it's exciting that the old girls of the college are actually doing this. And I sincerely like what is happening right now. The teachers are confident that they would enjoy greater rewards for service in the current <laughs> political dispensation. Thank you. But beyond the monthly salary, teachers say true fulfillment lies in the knowledge of their contribution to nation building. If I still have another opportunity, I still want to be a teacher. Uh, it, it was fun for me, you know, bringing up young girls in particular in this school. Not when we started, now it's really rewarding. And they have greater packages for us. I, I employ the youths men and women to come into a teaching profession. The students have a bright future to look forward to as they watch and listen to their predecessors, many of whom are leading in the private and public sectors. The Alumni Association also inaugurated a staff toilet project as their contribution to improving the working condition of teachers in the school. My view on teachers' dissolution is that the government should see us and respect us as, as role model. The government should give us what are due to us. Our rights and privileges should be given to us. Don't forget, teachers' day celebration was first done and celebrated by UNESCO in 1994. And it was a day assigned for teachers all over the world to make sure that teachers by themselves come together, use that day as a day of festival to make sure that everybody all over the world celebrate and make sure that we are in a joyful mood. The government should not just read, come around and read speeches for us. The government should please try as much as possible to make our profession to be much more professionalized. How do you want our profession to professionalize? By making sure that we have a kind of upgraded salary structure that will be in pari passu with the medical practitioners. We believe in the present administration of Bola Metinogu because we knew that he's a man that loves teachers passionately. We, we teachers all over the world are aware that during his administration, we know that there will be a lot of changes for teachers in during this era. So we will have a strong belief that Teachers must not be molested. And in you the second question that says that, what about our uh, expectation for this year for Teachers Day? There are many also. One, if teachers are well remunerated at the right time, don't forget they will give in their best. A teacher that is well paid, a teacher that gets promotion at the right time, a teacher that gets to the next level without no stress, a, te a teacher that uh, the parent does not molest a teacher that if he or she discipline students, the parents at all will not say because my parent, my my parents are politicians. Because those are the things that is making teaching profession to lose its standard and to lose its value in this present world. When we have children that talk that their parents are thin gods, when they said that my parents will go and report you to the governor, to the commissioner, to the minister, to the president. When all this one can be eradicated, believe me, discipline will come back to our schools. And don't forget, in this year also, we have a lot of solution because our, our team for this year centered on making teachers to be much more improved in IT. We want all of us to be IT compliant. And how do, how, how do we do this one? This one can be done through the government assistance. 
they should make sure that our professional, our professional professionalized. Two, our salary structure should be looked into. If, if, if you search the medical personnel, the least paid medical personnel is collecting much more money. I, mean, I, said, I said the least paid. The, highest, the least paid, yes, is collecting much more money, more than level 15 of teachers in Nigeria. Let there be a kind of conceptualized salary structure. That teaching will not become, teaching will not become a form of a pride that our children will be proud of. Ask anybody around, do you want to be a teacher? They will say no. Why? Stigmatization. Teachers are poor. Teachers are not being paid very well. One government to help us to, to make sure that Zanis Osho is being graded and is being set aside so that we can have a pari perso collaboration with other medical personnel and the rest. That's number two. Number three, we want the government to help us to look into the hazard in teaching profession. Many parents have come to school to victimize the teachers because they discipline their works. Don't forget, nobody is saying that any teacher should beat any student. But a situation where you lack discipline, don't expect good results. On the profile interview segment this week, I'll be speaking with the national president of the Nigerian Union of Teachers. He brought us up to speed on some of the challenges that the workers have faced in the sector, while also emphasizing on the need for increased funding in the education sector. It's good to have you on the program. Thank you, you're welcome. Um, the month of October is the month where we celebrate Teachers' Day, even though the exact day for celebration is October 5th. Yeah. Um, this year's celebration, can you bring us up to speed on what the theme of this course is for Nigerian teachers? Yes, thank you very much, and I want to appreciate you, and I want to most sincerely congratulate the entire teachers of this country for yet again celebrating our day and the theme for this year, uh, World Teachers' Day, I said earlier that it is apt, apt in the sense that uh, the teacher uh, we, we, we need for the education we want. What kind of teachers do we want? And it will interest you to know that uh, in this country, uh, we have a serious shortage of teachers. Teachers are retiring day by day, and the good hands are going, and uh, no commensurate uh, replacement for most of these teachers that are living, and uh, even, said, even having said so, uh, not getting teachers uh, is not the matter, but getting the qualified teachers that will go with the trend of what is happening. You know, uh, globally, uh, education has gone scientifically. So, uh, Even with the advent of AI and the likes. That is it, that is it. So it is expected that uh, uh, it depends on the kind of teachers that you will be looking for, mm. for the type of education you need for your country. So we are happy with this very theme and we are saying that the government of this country should look inwardly in terms of training or training of teachers, in terms of recruiting, uh, qualified teachers that can be able to teach in our uh, primary and basic, uh, basic and secondary schools. So secondary would you school. say as the president of the Nigerian Union of Teachers mm. that we have enough teachers in the country, would you say that the brain drain has not impacted the education sector? Certainly, certainly, even if not, uh, uh, the fact remains the same that there are no teachers in our schools. Uh, I said it clearly that if you go around our schools and even our state teachers are retiring day by day, no commercial uh, recruitment to, to replace those teachers that have retired. It will interest you to know that there are states within this country that are, they have stayed for more than two, three, four, five, six years even without recruiting teachers. And teachers are retiring day after day. We want to most sincerely thank uh, His Excellency, the 
the immediate past president of this country for approving the retirement age of teachers from uh, 60 to 65 of age and 35 to 40 by service. That uh, singular act has uh, enabled some state to be able to retain uh, some of their teachers in their respective state. But, but even but though they, you're retaining teachers, yeah, yeah, yeah. what happens to them um, putting the new injected blood through the system if we don't have a um, new entrant? What would be your message to the federal government, state government, and maybe leaders at the local government level towards ensuring that they allow the young ones who are qualified to get into the system. Gone were the days when probably in a year, two, three times we'll get the information that, oh, teachers' recruitment is yeah. actually ongoing. Yeah. But now, we don't understand it's what's quiet. happening. Yeah. It's quiet. It's is, quiet. It that, is it that um, um, teachers are retiring and we don't have qualified people to come and take up the job? Or those that are, being, that are qualified uh, prefer to um, seek greener pasture. What would be your recommendation to the state government and federal government towards ensuring that we have um, qualified people in schools? Thank you very much. I reiterated the need for government, both at the federal, state, and even at the local government, to be able to recruit teacher into our, teachers into our schools. Because as it is, uh, teachers are retiring, as I said, day in day out but there is no commercial recruitment and it's not like we don't have the qualified teachers uh, around we have younger teachers that are there but government are scared the government are, are refusing to kind of uh, look inwardly to make sure that they recruit uh, qualified ones so that those that are there can be able to serve as guide to the younger ones so that they as they exist out the younger one will, will take over from them. So that's why we agitated for the years uh, of uh, retirement years to be increased for our teachers so that we wouldn't allow our school to go empty. As I speak, there are schools uh, in some of our state and in some of our local government that if you go to a school now, you, you realize or you meet a teacher or a headmaster. He is the headmaster, he is the classroom teacher. He teaches virtually everything. You will see a schools with a lot of students, but having few teachers, maybe two, three. They will tell you that uh, it's only the headmaster and one teacher that are in this school. They exist. Those so schools exist. So how does this affect so the standard of education? Definitely, the standard that is proposed by the United Nations. Definitely, and it will affect the standard of education in our schools. The best uh, 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 practice is at least uh, you should have at least. 40 to 45 people in schools in our classroom. But uh, there are schools where you will see 100, 100 and something uh, in a classroom and being mined by a teacher. Uh, so these are some of the challenges that we are having. So that's why we have been saying it day with that, day with that number that government should see this system as a system that shouldn't be allowed to collapse. Government should be able to make sure that Teachers are recruited and funding of education is key. You, we know the benchmark all over the world mm -hmm. that uh, uh, how education should be founded. And, uh, it's, not, it's no longer a hidden thing. But here we are in a country where we find it difficult to allocate substantively uh, funds for funding of basic and secondary education in the country. So this has been our agitation to kind of plea with government. Let them look at this sector very, very well because it's the foundation. We keep on saying the primary education and, and the secondary education, these two sectors are the foundation of education. Once, once you get it right at the primary sector and secondary sector, the other one is just a uh, go-through thing. That people will just get it right there. Talking about funding of education and also the welfare of teachers, yeah. I am a product of um, good teachers. Yeah. I've had um, the opportunity of having my teacher also becoming my mentor and that has helped me personally. Yeah. And um, I really do not know what kind of reward that I can give to my teacher. Certainly. However, um, there is this saying that, oh, um, the teaching profession is a noble profession and many people will say, oh, their reward is in heaven. <laughs> so, as the president of um, of um, president of um, Nigerian Union of Teachers, the deputy president of um, NLC, NLC uh, what will be your recommendations? Uh, which model do you think the government can actually um, copy or imitate 
in the international space, whereby um, the teaching profession, though noble, should be well, should also be rewarding. Yeah. Yeah, thank you very much for this very good question. Countries that have gotten it right, when you go to Singapore, you go to Finland, you go to Malaysia, you go to most of this country, they, they, they took education to be their priority. And you could see where they are today in terms of development. These are third world countries, but you could see where they are today in terms of development. In some countries, what they do is to, uh, the best brand, the best brand are being asked to go to classroom and teach, and they pay them higher. So everybody will be struggling to make sure that he becomes a teacher, because that's where the money is. But here we are in a country yeah, where uh, going even to teacher training college, except you are unable to secure admission in other institutions, then they will say, but why can't you go and manage college of education? Uh, at the end of the day, maybe you will see what you can be able to do. But in countries that have gotten it right, it is the best brand that goes to teacher training institution. So that as they graduate, they go back to classroom to impact that knowledge that they had to the system. And the government there make it a priority to make sure that teachers are adequately taken care of. Teachers are the highest paid people in such countries. But here we are today, teachers, we work, not even refuse receiving the payment. As I speak, there are states there that you will see teachers being owed salaries. And you expect them to go to classroom and teach with hunger in their stomach. Tell me how can such a teacher put in his best? If a teacher is well taken care of, that teacher will do, go out of his way to make sure that he gives the best uh, knowledge to the people. So what we are saying is that government should have a rethink. Let government come back and ask itself, where have we gotten it wrong? Then if they, 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 they realize where they have gotten it wrong, then they should come back and make sure that the teacher, the teacher is the key to every success in times of learning. You've said it all that you were taught by a very good teacher. He molded you to where you are today. I'm happy to hear that. And that's, that's the joy of every teacher. Today, if I go around the street, I, I, I come across the, 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 the student that I taught. They would, be, they would be rushing to talk to me that you taught me, you did this, you did this to me, and this is where I am. I'll be full of myself. That is the satisfaction of a teacher. A teacher is a role model because he impacts knowledge. When you teach in the class and you ask questions and you see your people raising hands to answer you, you'll be happy, you'll be full of yourself. But the issue is that, are you being taken good care of? Are you being paid very well? Is your welfare being taken care They're of? They're talking about is pension your, also too. Your, is Our your, teachers is your, when it comes to pension. Let me even not go to that one because it's worse. These are pensioners are retiree. I said it here, even when I was making my speech today. You understand me? Today we are here where even if salaries are being paid, the teachers are the least paid or they will be paid as if, as if their government is being forced to pay those teachers in our respective school, and we do it in our respective state, and we keep on saying it, that no, let's change the narrative, let's do what is expected. Not to talk of pensioners, a uh, lot of teachers have retired, they are not being paid their pension, not to talk of even their gratuity. So this is the situation of why we find ourselves. That's why I said this year, World Teachers Day is very apt and prompt. Finally, looking at the Nigerian system, we realize that um, the schools are major targets of um, insecurity, hoodlums, or let's say bandit Bad. attack, unknown gunmen attack. Uh, what would be your message to the federal government and state governments towards ensuring that the school is a safe place for learning? Yes, thank you very, very much. Most of our schools are venerable. Uh, most of our school are uh, being attacked day in, day out by bandits, kidnappers, and even teachers themselves are uh, being taken away by, by kidnappers 
all over. So we are saying government should have maximum protection of our schools in one of the federal universities in Kasina State. About five or so female students were cutted away. We, we, every day we wake up, even in Zamfara State, uh, every day bandits will come into the school and go away with uh, the, the, the students there. Not to talk of the, our primary school that are located in the localities. So these are some of the things. I tell you that there are situations where, uh, because of the insecurity level, teachers don't even go to such area, even if they are asked to be, to, if they are recruited and, asked to, and are posted to such places. They say they cannot go because they are life first. Yeah. Because if you, when you get there, you'll be taken away. Especially these are things that are happening in most of our state in the north. So t teachers are vulnerable. Students are also vulnerable. Government had to look at it. If you take statistics of uh, students that were taken away by bandits and teachers that were taken away, that even killed by, uh, by bandits and so on and so forth, you, it will interest you to know that the rate, the, the number is highly alarming. So these are things that we must sit down as a country. We must sit down as government to look at the best way that we could, we can do to protect this very system of education. Because once the system collapses, then everything will collapse in this country. You could see that over 20 million uh, children of Age school, are out of school. As I speak with you today, the statistics are there, the records are there. So it is not good for us as a country. If we are talking of children that, that are out of school and there are about 20 million, then something is wrong somewhere. We have to look at it very, very well and see the best way that we can be able to resolve this issue. Thank you very much for Thank your you time. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Time Thank you very you. much, Sharon. Thank you. You're welcome. And that's all we can take on today's edition of the program. Join us next week for a fresh edition of the show. I am Sharon Ijasson. Thanks for watching and remember that labor creates wealth.